So never stop doing something that is important to you. So one of the things that I was reading through the week was a study about women over the age of 50 and why they don't exercise. So did you know that one in five women don't exercise because they feel embarrassed about their body shape? So hi, it's Peter here from Strong Healthy Women. And so what happens is when we get embarrassed about our body shape, then we don't even attempt to take that step to exercise or to do that workout. And so it stops us. And yet, here's the ironic thing about it, is that we know, so when we get to this age of 50 and beyond, we know the importance of exercise and we understand what's going to happen with our bodies when we don't do it. So we know we need to do it, but there's this obstacle, this barrier in front of us that says, oh, I'm a little bit embarrassed about what I look and feel like. And so I got thinking about this because one of the reasons that we often hear when ladies come in to join us is that they say, I'm not fit enough, or I'm not strong enough, or I don't think I can do that. So it's just another way of reframing that I just don't feel like I'm in shape and I'm embarrassed to do this. I'm scared to actually start. And yet we're capable, we can do it. It's just finding that sweet spot that's right for us so that we can start to move that dial forward and feel that little bit better. So here's what we see on social media all the time. We see these gorgeous women, and they are gorgeous, in their lovely workout clothes with their makeup on. And we think that we need to look like that when we work out. Well, I'm here to tell you, I don't look anything like that when I work out, okay? My hair is all over the place. There is definitely no makeup on. There's none on now either. And I just get in and do that workout. And so, you know, those photos that we see on social media, they've been staged that way. They've been set up that way. And so those women probably don't look like that when they're working out. So when we see these images, it reinforces that feeling for us that, you know, we're not, we don't look right. And, you know, we've got to look in this certain way in order to work out and to exercise. But here's an absolutely radical thought for you today. Instead of actually looking at yourself and going, I'm not the right shape to be able to exercise, why not think about your body in a different way? Think about it from a perspective of what it can do for you and what it has done for you. You know, if you are a woman who has ever had children, wow, you know, our bodies have been capable of giving birth to a, a whole other human. So that in itself is something to truly appreciate. There are so many things, you know, when you get out of bed and you can move around freely, isn't that something to appreciate your body for? Because there are so many people who can't do that. So what we want to do is reframe it and start to think about our bodies in a different light. So. I remember one of my clients, Annie, and one day she actually said to me, like, you guys are the sweet spot. And I didn't get what she was talking about until she said, like, I got over myself. I got over what I look like. I got over my shape. I got over the fact that I was a little bit older as well, too. And I decided to walk into my local gym. And I went in and I looked around and I was scared. And look, I totally get what she was talking about because the first time I walked into a gym, 
I was in my 40s and so I'd never done it before and it is it's like you get the, those butterflies in your tummy and she looked around and she said she could hear people talking about her you know she felt all eyes upon her she was feeling judged and she almost walked out the door but she didn't and then they said oh okay we've got a seniors class happening soon and you know in her head she's going well hang on a minute I'm not a senior why do you think I need to go to a seniors class and so but she got over herself and and she went to this class and she said she felt like she was being treated like she wasn't capable of doing things and yet she was totally capable and I often see that with exercises for women over the age of 50 you know it's very what we look at is very what we see is these very gentle movements and yet we're so much more capable than that now we may have to start at a lower level but we definitely don't need to be treated like we're not capable of doing things and so what Annie said is she walked out that door never to return again but then she found us and that's when she said to me you guys are the sweet spot you know you're not the 20 year olds in the gorgeous lycra and and uh, you know bouncing around everywhere but you're not the seniors class either even though we have women who work, work out with us who are definitely in the seniors category I mean I have a seniors card so I'm categorized as being a senior but I certainly don't think that I'm a senior and nor do the ladies in the strong healthy women community they don't think that way and so what I want you to do is to realize that your age is giving you that opportunity to embrace the things that you know that you're knowledgeable about and that you have wisdom on and that what you can do is actually appreciate yourself for all of the wonderful things that you are capable of that you are capable of thinking about and so I started to then think about that that saying you know you're the sum of the five people you most spend your time with and what some of the latest research is showing is that it's more than the five people and so today think about who you're hanging out with so who do you hang out with at home who do you hang out with um, you know when you if you if when you go to work or when you go and do some volunteer work or maybe it's you know your family or your social connections and think about are they supportive of you do they kick your butt when you need it and do you do the same thing for them or are they actually you know do they have that mindset that their age is a barrier and that they can't do something because if they do and you know in your heart of hearts that you are more capable than that you know yes still have them as friends but maybe it's time to actually you know broaden your horizons and have a look around to see you know where there are other people who think like you do and act like you do and appreciate yourself for who you are so here's what I want you to also think about today never let yourself be stopped from doing something that's important to you because you feel judged or you don't feel good enough because you are unique you are capable um, you are exactly who you are supposed to be and if your body isn't exactly what you want it to be right now you can do something to change it but never feel horrible towards it or nasty towards it appreciate it for what it can do because when you appreciate it more 
then it will start to reward you. And so we are heading into, it's International Women's Day tomorrow. And the theme is break the bias. And so I wanna break down that misconception that when you're 50 year old, when you're 60 year old, when you're 70 year old, when you're 80 year old, we're not, we're not. We're how we think we are. And when you think that you're old, then that's exactly what you're going to do. Hey, I'm not saying ignore the aches and pains that come along with life because they are there, but there are so many more things that you can do to help yourself. And I know that one of our ladies who's in her 70s, she catches up with some friends. Now she does think about the people that she hangs around with. And she's got wide and varying people that she hangs around with. And so she said she gets together with this other group of women and they always, she said, we always have morning tea and they're always complaining about their aches and pains. And she said, and I always say to them, you know what? If you actually started exercising, you might find that you don't have as many aches and pains because that's exactly what I found. Now, she's someone who started exercising about 30 years ago because she knew she was starting to get that little bit older. And so she used that wisdom that she had right back then in her 40s to go, I need to change something now. I, I need to stop thinking about what I look like or how I feel. And I just need to take that first step. So I want you today to think about that first step Appreciate yourself for who you are. Appreciate your body for what it does. And really, really appreciate yourself for the knowledge that you have and the age that you are. And don't think of yourself as being, putting yourself in a box because you are not in that box. You are unique. You are exactly who you are. And you're exactly where you should be. So that is it for me. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.